Hundreds dead, thousands of homes destroyed. This is what was left of Palestinian communities after the latest round of fighting. Devastation. And Amnesty International has now accused both sides of war crimes. An investigation by the rights group looked at a number of Israeli missile attacks on civilian homes, calling them unprecedented in number and questioning the motives behind them. In many cases, they say, Israeli forces fail to take precautions to minimise harm to civilians. In one case, forces could have waited until the target had left a house which was full of children before making their attack. In others, the tragic toll on ordinary people was said to be out of all proportion to any military advantage and sometimes no military target was found at all. This, they say, amounts to a serious violation of international humanitarian law, with forces showing callous indifference to lives lost. The 50-page report lays bare the horrors faced by civilian casualties. One father found his son's body parts scattered around him after one missile attack. Others describe being surrounded by blood, smoke and screaming. More than 1,500 Palestinian civilians died in the fighting, including 519 children. Israel's foreign ministry has rejected the findings, saying the group had failed to produce any evidence and had ignored the war crimes committed by Hamas, including using civilians as human shields. Meanwhile, Palestinian armed groups are criticised for indiscriminately firing thousands of rockets at civilians in Israel, killing six. Amnesty International has now called for both sides to allow official investigations into suspected human rights violations. It says Israel needs to ban its military for making indiscriminate and disproportionate attacks, while Palestinian authorities should accept the International Criminal Court's jurisdiction over crimes committed since 2002.